When I was a child, um, I was actually diagnosed with a condition called intussusception. And at the time, I lived in a very low resource area and my parents uh, had a really tough time finding care for me. And actually the doctor mentioned that I wouldn't have survived if I was even a second late for my surgery. And that experience in itself really highlighted the importance of access for me in medicine. The biggest highlight for me was the uh, Sharp and the Quill, where we was able to get 120 students all across Canada involved in a writing program to teach undergraduates publication and writing skills. Children play games, use their imagination, and make friends much more easily than us adults. I've been involved with creating the Physical Literacy for Active Youth program, the play program, at the local daycare at the University of Alberta. I've also been involved with a summer mentorship program and help youth to find opportunities amidst the pandemic. Generally in the community with uh, global health and increasing access, I've been involved as the president of the Canadian Coalition of Global Health Research. So finding ways to incorporate research and leadership into community has been something that I've, that has been, that I've been really passionate about. One of his dreams is to be an astronaut. And I think of all the students I've had, he's likely to be the first because he's so broad in terms of his interests. Working with kids, working with daycare staff, working with um, research staff, I think it's the most gratifying feeling to know that something that you've started or an initiative that you've been involved with has had an impact on so many people. Undergraduates that are seeing this want to know the secret elixir to getting ahead. It isn't necessarily to get into medical school or graduate school, but it's to participate in society, get beyond the boundaries of the classroom, especially now with COVID, to get experiences that are beyond your understanding or beyond your comfort zone. So that as Peter has, you might find your bliss.